whether it be sort of Northern Soul in the 60s, whether Philly and Motown and in, in the 70s, um, disco, jazz, funk, um, hip hop, house, R&B, acid house, punk rock. Um, we're blessed in this country. We've always had um, th th those kind of youth cultures. In America, it's been slightly different, partly because the country was so big and partly because of its divisiveness on racial grounds. Um, so, you know, black culture, because it was marginalized in America, was able to develop a separate way. Um, so it was always going to give us jazz music, for instance. It was always going to give us hip hop. It was always going to give us soul or disco. But what it was never going to give us was jungle or punk rock. The great thing about you know the way the English approach and use music and and <coughs> subvert lifestyle is that we're we're not scared to experiment. This is a a trait of sort of being born in Britain and being involved in music business that I really love about us. We're not scared to experiment and fuck things up. Um, ninety nine percent of the time it might be it'll end up crap, <laughs> but the one percent that we get right basically moves the whole game on a quantum leap and thanks to the powers of the internet we're able to sell that around the world.